Hi, welcome to Bob's Little Sports Shop. My name is John Sammons. I've been here 12 years and today we're going to go over cleaning a, and lubricating a Glock 19 Gen 5. For this, you're going to need a pistol cleaning kit. In this pistol cleaning kit, you're going to have a bronze brush. You'll have swab, you'll have patch holders, patches. You're also going to need a good quality lubricant that we sell here at Bob's. Hoppy's number nine, rifle, pistol, shotgun lube. It's a good quality, low viscosity lubricant. That's not gonna gum up in the winter time. As far as your bore cleaner, we've been using a Godzilla. A lot of people like to use Break Free, but Break Free, it's pretty hard to get anymore. Godzilla is exactly the same stuff, and it's non-toxic. Now let's get to cleaning the Glock 19. Okay, first thing, to cleaning any firearm is to make sure that the gun is empty. So you're going to lock open the slide, visually check to make sure there's nothing in there, make sure there's no ammunition present. Once you're sure of that, you will close the slide, make sure the gun is pointed in a safe direction, and pull the trigger. Once you pull the trigger, you have tabs on both sides of your Glock. One tab here, and one tab on this side. You're going to grab those two tabs with your thumb and index finger, pull the slide back about an eighth of an inch, pull the tabs down, push the slide forward, and take the gun apart. At that point, you'll remove the recoil spring assembly, the barrel, and the slide. So these are the four components that we are going to focus on cleaning today. We're going to start with cleaning the barrel. Clean the barrel, you're going to need a cleaning rod, patch holder, and you will need a bronze brush. You will also need your bore solvent and some patches. Make sure you get patches that are the correct size for your pistol caliber. You don't want to try and put a 12 gauge patch down a nine millimeter barrel, it's not gonna work. First things first, we're going to screw on the bronze brush and we're going to push this through the barrel from the chamber and to the muzzle. You'll push that through. This is going to dislodge any of the heavy fouling that you may have. Okay, as you're pushing it through, you want to push it completely through. You don't want to push it halfway through and then try and reverse it. If you do that, then you're going to end up getting your bronze brush stuck inside your barrel. Once you do that, you can remove the bronze brush, put on the patch holder, insert your patch into the holder, pull it through about halfway, so it looks like this. You're going to put a few drops of your solvent cleaner on your patch. It doesn't need to be saturated, just a few drops. This will show you how much fouling you have left in your barrel. As you push it through, you'll push it through a few times and that's going to loosen up and remove anything that's left in the barrel. At that point, you're going to get a new patch. And you're going to want to put a couple drops of your cleaner on there and you're going to want to clean the feed ramp. So you'll wipe that and you'll see that this will take off quite a bit of dirt and fouling and you want to clean the barrel and chamber area thoroughly. Now this gun isn't really that dirty. I mean it may look like it but it's removing all the residual gunpowder and any dirt or lead fouling. So you'll wipe the gun down, the barrel down and then you'll take a look, hold it up to a light, looking from the chamber end to the bore, and it should be sparkly clean, which this one is. So we'll put that aside, because we're done with that at this point. Now you want to clean the recoil spring assembly. This is probably the easiest thing to clean, because all you want to do is to get inside the spring assembly and just remove any fouling that's on there this does not come apart and the reasoning is if you were to take this apart 
it is no longer any good and you would have to purchase a new one. So you'll clean that and as you can see it's getting off a decent amount of fouling. I didn't change my patch for this because if you did change your patch for everything you're going to run through patches like nobody's business. Now we'll grab another patch and we're going to work on the slide. There's a few things about the Glock slides. There are areas on this slide that you are not going to put any lubricant or any cleaner in. And you're not going to put anything in the striker channel. You won't put any lubricant in a weep hole that they have here. But everything else is up for grabs and you definitely want to clean it. So you'll put a few drops of your cleaner on a patch and you will clean all the fouling off of this. Everybody always asks, well, how do you know when it's, when it's done cleaning it? The old school answer is to, you're gonna do it until you can wipe your patch and it comes off and it comes away clean. But for the most part, you just wanna get as much of the dirt off of this and the fouling as possible. You wanna do the bolt face, which is on this gun, exceptionally dirty. This is one of our rental guns. So it gets used quite a bit. And you're going to wipe inside the rail channels on both sides of the slide and then on the inside of the slide that covers the barrel and when that is done just give the outside a light wipe down with the Godzilla which is a cleaner lubricant and protectant and you should be done with the slide the one good thing about Gen 5 Glocks is that they now come with steel sights as opposed to the Gen 4's and earlier that came with polymer sights. So you had to be very careful with those sights because they were very quick to mash down. And once you mashed it down and it was unserviceable, you'd have to get a new sight. And sights are only supposed to be put on by qualified Glock armors, which we have a plethora of here at Bob's Little Sports Shop. Now we've went and we've cleaned the slide, recoil spring assembly, and the barrel. Now we're going to move on to the frame. This is the most challenging part due to the fact having to get down into the magazine well of the grip and all the metal parts. You want to make sure that you get the metal parts as clean as possible because that is what the slide is riding on or it's back here in your fire control. So as you're cleaning these areas you want to get as much of the dirt and filth off. A lot of times when you're shooting any gun, you, the gun will feel kind of gritty when you pull the trigger. You really don't want to have it feeling that gritty or nasty. You want it to be a smooth pull. And when you get a lot of fouling on these guns, that's when you start getting that gritty feeling. A lot of people want to know, why don't we take this apart and clean all the fire control grip? We can here at Bob's because we are certified Glock armors. But for the end user, it's not, it's not recommended to do that. So you're going to go ahead and wipe everything down, get it as clean as possible. Will you get it as clean as when it came from the factory? No, but you'll get it darn close. So once you get all that done, with Glocks, they're pretty famous for only having, only needing six drops of oil for lubrication when you're putting the gun back together. You can go and actually just do the six drops but because we're using Gunzilla, which is a cleaner, a lubricant, and a protectant, it's not really needed at this point. But if you wanted to put a drop back on the cruciform, form, put a drop on your safety plunger and a drop on your recoil spring mechanism, you could definitely do that. So now the gun is completely cleaned. The only thing left to do is to put it back together. Putting this gun back together is pretty straightforward. Turn your slide upside down. Take your barrel, insert your barrel from inside the slide. Make sure it's in there and it's flush against the bolt face. Now take your recoil spring assembly, insert the large end with the plastic polymer button into there, into the slide. Press that in and press it down. You wanna make sure that that is flush. Then you will take the slide, insert the slide rails into the slide and push it all the way back. 
make sure you catch all the rails. At that point, it is done. You definitely want to check it, point in a safe direction, pull the trigger, and you should hear it fire. That is how you will take apart a Glock 19 clean and lubricate. All the products I used today were purchased here at Bob's Little Sports Shop. If you have any questions, you can definitely call us and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Be sure to like, share with your friends, comment, or subscribe for more content. And in your comments, if there's a certain gun that you'd like to see cleaned or disassembled, let us know. Thank you.